Hi Bow Bakers! Summer is almost here and I wanted to start sharing with you my frozen dessert lineup and another great way to use my homemade no machine ice cream. I'm going to show you some of your favourite flavours turned into milkshakes. So let's get blending. So I have got some really exciting news. Finally our website biggerbolderbaking.com is up and live right now. Over there you will find all of my videos and written recipes that can be easily printed and shared. And make sure to subscribe to my free weekly newsletter for exclusive content and giveaways. If you sign up now you can enter to win this beautiful KitchenAid Torrent Blender that I'm using in this video today to make my milkshakes. I really hope you enjoy our new website and please let me know what you think. For my milkshakes I'm using my lovely brand new blender but you can use any liquidizer or blender that you have at home and you can even use a hand blender. Our first milkshake flavour up is a winning combo and one of my personal favourites, banana and salted caramel. Now the star of this show is my homemade no machine ice cream. I made a plain vanilla base but you can use any ice cream that you want. You can even use another ice cream like the dulce de leche one that we made a few weeks ago. If you put that in there with bananas and caramel it will be gorgeous. In your blender pitcher add in your ice cream and your milk. Now I like to use frozen bananas for milkshakes because they make the milkshake really creamy and nice and thick. So when you see a few bananas around your house and they're turning a little bit black, throw them in the freezer and when you go to make a milkshake take them out and they are perfect. So to our banana we're going to add in my awesome salted caramel sauce. Now you guys know this recipe because I've done it in so many videos and it's going to work so well in this milkshake. Okay lovely, now lid on, our recipe for deliciousness is ready to go. If you press liquefy, blend or even frappe all of those settings will work really well for milkshakes. Blend your milkshake for around two to three minutes depending on your machine and you'll see it get lovely and thick. And it's done! Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Now you know I love good presentations so I'm going to serve my milkshake in these lovely tall glasses. To make your milkshakes really stand out you can even decorate your glass. I like to pour in some salted caramel sauce along the edges. And then follow with your homemade banana milkshake. Just look at how thick this is. I like to top mine off with freshly whipped cream and some more salted caramel sauce. This is definitely for caramel lovers. Now as the maker of the milkshake, I get to be the first taster of the milkshake. This is exactly what I thought it would be like. It's sweet, it's a little bit salty from the caramel sauce, absolutely gorgeous. So the best thing about these milkshakes is not the method because you just put it on a blender. The best part is the combination of flavours that you can use and you're going to see that throughout the video. It's going to get your creative juices flowing to come up with your own milkshake combinations. So on to the next flavour. Our next milkshake is a flavour that is always well received here on Bigger Boulder Baking and that is Oreo. Into your pitcher add your ice cream, milk and Oreo cookies. Now I'm using the regular Oreos but you can actually use the golden Oreos or even if you can get your hands on some of the red velvet ones then those would be great too. Perfect! Three simple ingredients and one gorgeous milkshake. So on with the lid. I know it sounds kind of weird but I love to have milkshakes when I'm eating french fries. I don't know why but it just tastes so good together. Lovely, another milkshake is done. Dessert does not get much faster than that. I just love the idea of milkshakes for summer parties and for sleepovers. They're just perfect and so easy. To serve my milkshake I like to pipe whipped cream on top and dust it with a few crushed Oreos. For all of you out there that love Oreos as much as me, you are going to love this one. Our next milkshake flavour up is one I'm hoping you're all going to try. It is chocolate and peanut butter. This one is a little bit different because it's suitable for vegans. So it doesn't contain ice cream but it has frozen bananas, peanut butter and cocoa powder. It is out of this world. Into your pitcher we're going to add in a banana, some dairy free milk, cocoa powder, peanut butter, some vanilla extract and some ice cubes. I think you guys know by now that for my vegan recipes I alter the ingredients but not the flavour so they can be enjoyed by everybody not just vegans. On some blenders this milkshake might need a little bit more time to blend down all of that ice. And then serve straight away. Just look at how thick that is. To decorate my chocolate and peanut butter milkshake I like to lay on a few slices of fresh banana on top and dust it with a little bit of cocoa powder. Peanut butter and chocolate is delicious no matter what shape or form it comes in. You guys are really going to like this one. Okay, on to our next great flavour. Our next milkshake flavour was the most requested ice cream flavour so I'm guessing you're going to like it as a milkshake version and that is a mint chocolate chip. In your pitcher add in your ice cream. To the ice cream mix I'm going to add in some mint to get that lovely fresh flavour. However if you don't want to use fresh mint you can always use extract or essence. In with the mint. If you want to trick your senses a little bit you can always add in a little bit of green food dye into this mix. Also instead of vanilla ice cream you can always add in my mint chocolate chip ice cream and it will be like a double whammy of mint. Just before your milkshake is done we're going to add in some chocolate chips. Your machine will break them up nice and fine so you'll get a bit of chocolate and mint in every sip. 
To serve this milkshake, I like to pipe some freshly whipped cream on top, grate some chocolate, and then add a sprig of mint. So now I know you guys love mint chocolate chip ice cream, but I have a feeling you might love this milkshake even more. I love cheesecake for a dessert, and obviously I'm going to love it in every form that it comes in. So our next flavor is a strawberry cheesecake milkshake. In your pitcher, add in your ice cream, milk, cream cheese, fresh strawberries, and vanilla extract. I love strawberry cheesecake, but if you want to add in blueberries, raspberries, or even mango, that will still taste great. A good way to keep these milkshakes cold is pop your glasses in the fridge beforehand. To decorate this big and bold milkshake, I'm going to pipe on some freshly whipped cream, dust it with some graham crackers, and add a fresh strawberry on top. So I think I might have saved the best flavor to last. This is absolutely phenomenal. I know you guys are gonna love this one. If five amazing milkshake flavors aren't enough, then I posted a bonus flavor over on my website, so make sure you go over there and check it out. Don't forget to head over to my brand spanking new website and sign up for my newsletter. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here again next Thursday for more Bigger Boulder Baking.